Today's headlines. Top 10 news you don't want to miss. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with the latest news. Microsoft has Minecraft. Epic Games has Fortnite. And Sony now has Destiny. Sony has acquired Bungie, the maker of Halo and Destiny. It's a big deal that's all about Fortnite and multi-platform games. Five things to know before the stock market opens Tuesday. U.S. stock futures pointed to a relatively flat open for the first trading day of February. Former Pence chief of staff has testified to the Jan. 6 committee. Mark Short. Who has first-hand knowledge of former President Donald J. Trump's pressure campaign on his vice president to throw out the election results. Appeared under subpoena. Judge rejects plea deal on federal hate crimes charges in Armo Arbery's killing. Arbery's parents had denounced the proposed deal for Travis and Gregory McMichael. Exxon stock rises as earnings beat. Oil major shakes up reporting structure. Exxon said Monday it would trim to three reporting segments and relocate its HQ. Microsoft Activision Blizzard deal will reportedly be reviewed by the FTC. The FTC will reportedly be viewing Microsoft's intended acquisition of Activision Blizzard, amid a more aggressive stance from the government agency on big tech mergers. Wordle Inventor, overwhelmed, as New York Times buys game. Britain Josh Wardle sells his online game sensation to the New York Times for a seven-figure sum. 6,000 urged to evacuate as North Carolina fertilizer plant fire threatens an ammonium nitrate explosion. A fire burning at a Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Fertilizer plant Tuesday has forced emergency responders to urge the evacuation of about 6,000 people, including Wake Forest University students and more than 200 inmates from a nearby prison. Coronavirus live updates and Omicron variant news. Pfizer and its partner, BioNTech are expected to request emergency use authorization from the Food and Drug Administration as early as Tuesday. Dr. Tom Frieden. Why I'm cautiously optimistic about COVID-19. Although it's possible that deadly new coronavirus variants could emerge. I'm more optimistic today than at any point since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Here's why.